We are under the lights this evening as we get you set for another edition of Baseball on the Show. Coming up, we've got a good matchup in store between the Los Angeles Angels of Anaheim and the New York Yankees. Yankees baseball is next. Jay Happ, a southpaw from Illinois, gets the starting call in this one. Dan Plezak, what do you got? Hey, Matt, this guy's been throwing the ball really well. He picked up his 10th win of the year in his last one, and he'd like nothing more than to make it two good ones in a row and pick up his win number 11 today. In now is Andleton Simmons, and we are set for baseball here this Leading evening. Tonight for the Angels, the shortstop. First Andrew delivery Simmons. to him on the way. Start of a four-game oh. set as the game's first pitch misses for oh. ball one. And as the Yankees get started here tonight, guys, they've got to be considered the hottest team in baseball right now as they come in winners of nine of their last ten ball games. Yeah, Maddie, this team finds itself with a huge lead, double digits right now, and climbing, playing really good baseball. Some people will say, oh, you don't want to have that big a lead. You start resting on your laurels. I, I, I look at it the other way, man. You've earned the right to kind of get some guys off their feet if the manager wants there's a lot of different ways you can go about it this team's focused and playing really good baseball I would not worry about it keep pushing the throttle he got the fastball where he wanted and just pulled off of it oh, and they really bunch him up on that one as he swings and misses for the first out that was a nasty looking slider that time yeah, that was really well executed, Matt. A classic strikeout pitch. You think it's fastball middle in, then it starts bearing in on your back leg, and unless you hit it out front, there's nothing much you can do with that. Into the box, David Fletcher. As the first pitch misses to him, it's ball one. Hap has thrown north of 1,800 big league innings in his career, and over those innings, he's collected over 1,500 strikeouts. On a big swing, and he crushes this ball deep. My goodness, a long home run. So a solo shot down the line in left. Eighth home run on the season for him as the Angels take a one to nothing lead. Love the homer in the top of the first inning. Give your pitcher a chance to kind of regroup and gather himself with an early lead. In now is Anthony Rendon. As he takes a cold strike at the knees, it's 0-1. And you see the numbers there. He's been very dangerous at the plate, to say the least. Owen oh, one delivery snatched out of midair at first base for route number two. That is four. The center fielder number 27, Mike Trout, striding into the box. Mike Trout. First pitch of the at bat on its way. Fastball too high to start him out here, 1 0. Wouldn't mind the pitcher expanding the zone a little bit more and using his aggressiveness against him. And there's a base hit on the line. You know, Dero, I'm not sure if you're one of those superstitious guys, but a 13-game hitting streak seems like a pretty good number for this guy. Yeah, that's the old Baker's dozen right there. We're almost looking at two weeks of just sleeping like a baby. I can't be. You're going to hear me reiterate this throughout this streak. I can't tell you when you're swinging the bat like this. And now they've got him picked off. And the tag is on him to retire the side.
Felix Pena gets the starting nod for the Halos. What do you have for us on him, Danny? Hey, one of the strengths of this guy is handling right-handed hitters. Right-handers coming into this game are hitting under 250 against this guy, so he's doing a lot of things right when the right-handers step into the batter's box. Here comes Brett Gardner now as he'll lead things off in the home first. For the Yankees, the center fielder. Now Brett here's the pitch. Gardner. Wow. So, fellas, this Angels team entering play here tonight. They've had it going the last 10 games. They're 7 and 3 over that stretch, including a win last time out. Yeah, Maddie, this team has been playing really well right now. And, and, and this is case in point. Chance to jump out again to another 1 0 lead. They've really been doing that. They've been on attack, early offensive, almost ambush like approaches to their at bats, and it's working for them. Sometimes you just got to trust your hands. That pitch probably wasn't even in the zone, and he was able to fight it off for a base hit. And that'll bring up Glaber Torres. A line shot to third base, but the runner is back to avoid the double play. Batting third. No left fielder. John Carlo. Stanton. Coming to the plate now, Giancarlo Stanton. He enters this one second in the American League in round trippers. Yeah, he's blasted four home runs in his last ten games, too. And he's got that power stroke working right now. This guy's an absolute nightmare to opposing pitcher. Power to all fields, and he'll take that ball away and drive it for opposite field power. He's ready. Here's the first offering. And they pitch out here, but nothing's going on. And there are our umpires calling balls and strikes is Mr. Earl Hendricks. Hey, you know, d -Row, the book kind of on Earl Hendricks is he likes one side of the plate or the other. Could it be where he sets up behind the catcher? It could be, Dan, but as a hitter, that's all you look for. You get, I'll, I'll give you a little bit off the outside edge if you're going to be consistent with it. 2-0 to the Yankees' left fielder. Gardner stands at first with one out. Outside, 3-0 now. Wow, this is the kind of count you'd like to get your superstar hitters in, right? 3-0, you can bet he has the green light on this pitch. From the belt, the pitch. That one's in there, 3-1. and one. You maybe get two pitches a game where all the guesswork goes out the window. This is certainly that situation. Three one, and that misses ball four. So it's first and second now, with only one away. Batting four, the catcher Gary into the box now. Gary Sanchez, and there you see his righty lefty splits and how they've played out so far this season. Set. Here it comes. Nope. And there's a fastball well off the plate inside. First and second now, one man out. Mm, two and oh. Got to find a way to execute either a good fastball down the way or flip something off speed for a strike. You cannot miss over the harder plate in these situations. The hitter is on high alert. Now the 2-0 home. Hit the other way out toward right field. Giving Chase his good one. Now this will rattle up against the wall. And a good throw is going to hold that runner at third. So they're loaded now with only That's one away. Good. Hey, after the that right hit right there, d -Roll, that extends his hitting streak to six games. Yeah, no doubt about it. Six days in a row with Knox will help you sleep better at night, Dan. To the plate now, Mike Talkman. As the first pitch here's a bit high, it's ball one. The average for him at 267 on the year. Nine homers and 25 driven in. Fastball got him to swing through it. It's one and one. Obviously a huge situation in the game here. 
but at the plate, he's got to keep it simple. He can't try to do too much just because the bases are juiced. At the very least, just find a way to get that tying run home from third. Outside, two and one. It often becomes harder to hit the zone when the pressure starts to heat up. Strike, two called, and it's even at two. One of my favorite pitches in the game right there, the old Greg Maddox equalizer. Start it at the front hip and bring it back. Grounded up the first baseline, but a foul ball as it holds it two and two. So look now the pitch three and two now boy not what you want coming out of the gate as a pitcher right you don't want to have to show all of your pitches this early on in the game but that's a quality at bat and what does it make you do as a pitcher you have to use a lot of your pitches and the more pitches a hitter sees the better chance they have to make good contact oh and it misses ball four and that will force home a run Man, it's been an absolute nightmare start to the game, and the nightmare continues as he walks in a run here in the first. The wheels are not completely off the bus, but they're definitely wobbling. We'll see if he can limit the damage going forward. Digging in now, Gio Urshela, as he begins this one as the fourth leading hitter in the American League. There's no way you could have forecasted this kind of season from this guy. Not to take anything away from him, but I don't think many people in baseball considered him to be one of the league's best hitters for average coming into this year. Here's the first pitch to him. Grounded to short. Simmons has it. There's one for Juan de Pujols. They get them both, and they end the inning. Yankees forced to settle for one. One inning in the books here, all tied at one and one. Set to get his evening at the plate started. Tommy LaStella batting just a notch below 300 so far on the season. First offering on its way. The wind up and the 0 1. And this is high, a ball and a strike. And they'll come back with one in the dirt as the count moves to two and one now. And the pitch. Hit hard to the right side. Reined in. Throw to first will be in time, and there's one gone here to start the second. That is it. The left field, number eight. Justin Upton. Stepping up now, Justin Upton. And he's a guy that's really scuffling at the plate right now. First pitch on its way to Upton. And this is lifted high in the air down the right field line. But no chance to run it down. It's a foul ball. One out, nobody on. That's over, but low, it's a ball and a strike. It's a high fly ball headed for the left field corner. If it stays fair, it's gone. But this one will bend foul. Had plenty of distance, though, as it landed in the upper deck. Now a swing and a miss. He struck him out. And it's two up, two down to start the second. Hey, I'm not sure what he was sitting on right there. He might have been sitting on an off-speed pitch, but instead he gets the fastball way late. Had no chance to put that ball in play. Next batter to the plate, Brian Goodwin. As he'll go after the first pitch to him and comes up empty, it's strike one. He'll work on keeping this top of the second alive. Wind up and the 0 1. 
drilled down the line. But this will get foul for strike two. Bases are empty here with two men out. Swung on and missed, and that's the final out of the inning. Angels go down one, two, three. We'll go to the bottom of the second, tied one apiece. Digging in, Miguel Andujar. He's set Four to lead eight off eight. the home half of the second. The third baseman, Miguel Andujar. Ready to deliver. Here's the first pitch. Fouled off. The wind up and the 0 2 pitch. Hit hard on the ground to the right. And this gets through into right, so he turns the 0-2 count into a leadoff base hit. You don't see that too much in today's game. Most guys, it doesn't matter what the count is. They're looking to line them, drive the ball out of the ballpark. Not the case here. Good two-strike adjustment, able to punch a ground ball through a hole for a single. Into the box now, Luke Voigt. As he'll watch a slider that stays inside for ball one. He'll start this one at 269, 18 homers, and 44 RBIs. The 1 0 home. A swing and a miss. That's the first strike. Two balls and a strike to the Yankees first baseman. This right handed pitcher his bread and butter is that two seamer and he loves to throw it inside. The two one home. Lead off man aboard here in a one one ball game. And that's taken high for a ball. It's full now, three and two. Looked like he tried to elevate a fastball on that 2-2 pitch there, but kind of overdid it. With a pitch that high, it's pretty easy to lay off if you're the hitter. To second for one, on to first, and that's now two innings and two double play balls here tonight. Two away now. Batting up, the second baseman, Tyler Way. Striding in, Tyler Wade. He'll get to take his first cuts here. The pitch. Swing and a liner. But the shortstop's got him played perfectly as he takes this in for the third out. Yanks held in check. Through two, we're tied one apiece. Welcome back to the Bronx, where these fans have witnessed a lot of good pitching from their Yankees this season. Coming into the day, they rank first in the league in both ERA and strikeouts, a combination that has opposing lineups searching for answers. One member of the staff told me, it's a special group of guys. I've never been on a pitching staff that's so dominant top to bottom, and I've been on some pretty good ones. Now, one of the hitters on the team told me, I'm relieved I get to stand behind them and play defense instead of staring them down in the box. That can't be fun. Matt, back to you. Number five. All right, thanks, Heidi. Now here it comes. Albert Pujols is in to start things off here as he looks at a called strike. It's nothing in one. Rounded softly down the line toward first. But that'll get foul. It's 0-2 now. A ball and two strikes to Albert Pujols. Boy, he sped him up in this at bat. Now it's time for the changeup. This guy's got a good one, and he hasn't thrown it yet in this at bat.
lifted in the air out to right. Tuckman is over a few steps as he puts it away for the first down. Batting up, the catcher, Jason Castro. So one away, and here's the left handed hitting catcher, Jason Castro. First pitch of the at bat on its way. And this ball is heading for the seats down the right side as the count will move to 0 2 now. Bases are empty, one man out. And he'll try and tempt him with one of the dirt, but he'll hold back here. It's one and two. Hey, that 0-2 fastball wasn't even close, but I'm hit right now. I'm still sitting on that heater. The one-two is a swing and a miss. That's strike three. Really good late bite on that slider right there. The best ones have that late action that just darts at the last minute. They're so tough to get the bat on, and when you've got that good slider going, it's a great strikeout pitch. So now to the plate will be Andrelton Simmons. As he'll go after the first pitch and bounce it into foul territory. Simmons is truly an elite level defender which is a big deal given the position he plays in the middle infield defensive metrics have become a bigger and bigger part of evaluating players That's of course ball. and he's consistently among the leaders in these newer categories at his position. Yeah you can tell his pitching staff absolutely loves him first step quickness soft hands an absolute cannon for an arm this guy fits to build defensively and Duhar has got it and the side is retired. Angels are gone in order. After two and a half, it remains a 1 1 ball game. Ready to go for the last half of the inning. And up next, the left handed hitting Brett Gardner. Here comes the first pitch. And this is ball. low, ball one. one -oh. Not two close, oh. it's 2-0. and oh. Now the pitch. A swing and a shot hit down the corner. Nearly a big fly to start the inning instead of foul ball. Into the windup. Here comes the 2 2 pitch. And another foul ball. Hit on the ground down the first baseline. But this is going to be a foul ball as that keeps things at two and two. Now here it comes. Ball count. Hey, this has been an epic at bat right here. I don't blame the pitcher for a little nibbling right there. Maybe get a swing and a miss. He didn't bite on that one, so now we go full count. Neither guy given in. Here's the next one. And good patience exercised as he works out the walk to lead off the home half of the third. And don't forget, he lost his last time out, so he wants to get off on the right foot here. The last thing he wanted was to walk the leadoff man. Digging in to try it again. Torres hit it hard but lined out in his first at bat. Yeah, Matty, but as he walks to the plate right here, he feels good building off that last AB. He hit that ball on the screws. They'll try and entice him with a high fastball, but he wouldn't commit. It's ball one. That's a good take on a fastball out of the zone. 
hey, I get it. He's looking for a ball to drive, but that ball was a little bit too far up in the zone. That's one you normally pop right up. 1-0 pitch on the way. Swing and a screamer, but this one's not going to stay fair. One one. Two one. Boy, not exactly what you'd like as a pitcher. One of the keys is to minimize your pitches, attack the strike zone early, a lot of deep counts, and working himself into a lot of trouble. And that's ball three now as it just misses below the zone. These last two guys are making him work quite a bit out there. Both have been long at bats, and all in all, he's had to make 13 throws just to them so far. And he's not the kind of swing you're looking for, three and one, as it runs to a full count now, three and two. Here comes the payoff pitch. Oh, it's hit to third, five. Four, three, and they turn the double play. Nice job on the mound to bounce back from the leadoff walk. Those are usually pretty costly, but that won't be the case this time after the two ball. So base is empty now after the double play. And standing in is the veteran outfielder, Giancarlo Stanton. Infield in the overshift here. Now the pitch. And that one swung on and missed 0 and 1. Two out, nobody on. Fastball misses inside. It's even at one. Stanton, a California born ball player. He's an 11 year vet at the major league level, so he certainly put together a nice career in professional baseball. Yeah, Matty, you ain't kidding right there. Ten years, we refer to that in the biz as hitting full pension. The one two. No, that missed. That's the ball. Two two. Fouled away. Ready with another 2-2. And there's ball three on a breaking ball that misses away. For the guy on the mound, this is one of those innings where nothing comes easy. He's thrown a bunch of pitches, and this A-B hasn't been any different. Definitely laboring at the moment. Still hanging with him. Another good swing to keep it going. That's back-to-back -back sliders on the outside part of the plate. Now would be a good time to come in with that good hard stuff inside. On the eighth pitch of the at-bat is the one that finally does it as he wears him down and the inning is over. Down in order go the Yankees. We played three full. We're tied at one. Ready for another chance. David Fletcher. He went deep in his first at bat. We'll see what he's got in store for us here. And I'm sure as he strides to the plate right here, he's certainly got to have a little bit more confidence. But that's not his game. He's got to get back to what makes him successful, put back to baseball, and try and drive something right back up the middle. Into the windup. Here comes the 0 and 1. Lofted in the air out toward right center. Right fielder is on the run, but he can't make the play as it finds the outfield grass. So another multi-hit game for him as he's aboard here in the top of the fourth inning. And we check out the Angels' leaders in that category to find that he currently ranks third on the ball club. And digging in next will be Anthony Rendon. 
as the first pitch to him is in there for a called strike one. Both clubs with three hits in the ball game. Set up away with the changeup, but it's one and one. There's a fastball well off the plate for a ball. Two balls, one strike. And he fouls this one off. The 2 2. It's the top of the zone. He struck him out looking. Flat out locked him up with the changeup right there. Usually you're trying for a swing and miss when you throw that pitch in a two strike count, but clearly he wasn't looking for it. So it's a backwards K for him. And that'll bring Mike Trout to the dish as the first pitch to him is taken low and away for ball one. The 1 0 finds the zone strike one. One run on three hits and no errors to this point for the Angels. Very high, two and one. I don't blame him for not coming over the heart of the plate. He circled this guy on the lineup card when he got to the yard today. He's been swinging one of the hotter bats in the game. A little early, and now it's even at two and two. Full count, three balls and two strikes to the Angels center fielder. Not a bad time right here to put that runner in motion. Three, two count, you send the runner, and if it's a bad pitch, it's ball four. Now the payoff pitch home, and he lays off here. A nice job, it's ball four. First and second now with one away. He's going to be pretty upset with himself about that 3-2 pitch. All you want to do in that count is make a competitive pitch, but that one wasn't even sniffing the zone, and he let him get away. Standing in, Tommy LaStella. He's 0 for 1 after grounding out in his only trip to the plate so far. Yeah, Matty, expect this pitcher to try and get the same result. It's his last at bat right here. The double play is in order. Anything on the ground, the way this defense is, they could certainly roll to. Ball one to start the at bat. Run, run, run. Now, both runners are breaking. Hopped up in Duhar in foul ground. He hauls it in without any trouble, and there are two away. Ready now, Justin Upton looking to put the ball in play here. He went down on strikes in his first at bat. Yeah, and kind of shocked he got blown away with a fastball. You could tell he was late on that one. And we'll see if he tries to cheat to something this AB. And that misses ball one. One ball, no strike. One and oh, here it is. One run on three hits and no errors to this point for the Angels. Hit in the air down the right field line. But this is just going to wind up being a foul ball. a slider that runs inside that time and that'll keep him from diving out over the plate. Here's the two and two. A swing and a miss as he chased with two strikes and that will retire the side. Angels strand a couple. 
will go to the bottom of the fourth, tied one to one. Just about set to go for the last of the fourth. But before we do that, here's Heidi Watney. Thanks, Matt. I talked with Yankees manager Aaron Boone during the break about the team's offensive performance so far. And flat out, he was very pleased with the quality of their at-bats. They've already worked out three walks, so he feels as though that kind of willingness to let the opposition work themselves into trouble will continue to result in good things for them on the scoreboard. All right, Heidi, thank you. Bottom of the inning now, and the next to bat, the Dominican-born catcher Gary Sanchez. The catcher, Gary Sanchez. Here comes the first pitch. Oh. The 1 0. -oh. He's outside for a ball. Well, this is a spot you'd like to be in. 2 0, -oh, good hitter. He's going to turn it loose right here. And that's over two and one. Nasty 2 0 slider right there for a strike. No shame in tipping your hat. And it misses three and one now. Team's been struggling on offense. Let your D work for you right here. Pound the zone. I oh, couldn't catch up with the gas that time. When you get yourself to a 3-1 count and you get a fastball, those are the ones you really want to punish. Couldn't get the bat on it, so we'll see if that comes back to haunt him. 3-2 pitch. Is a wave and a miss. He struck him out. Anytime a pitcher locates a fastball on the inside corner, it's going to be a tough now pitch bad. to hit. That one was spot on, and he had no answer for it. Plate now, Mike Talkman. And he'll watch one miss up and away for a ball, 1 0. The average for him at 267 on the year. Nine homers, 26 RBIs. And a fastball here that's taken for ball two. Now the 2-0. Lifted the other way down the left field line. And this will wind up a foul ball. One out, nobody on. And it's fouled away. Here now the 2-2. Two -two. Doesn't get the zone. Count full now. I know he buried that slider in right there, but that's a dangerous pitch. If he doesn't pot commit and bury that inside, it leaks out over the plate. He can get hurt with that pitch. Now the three and two pitch. Hard hit ball to second. He's right there. And a throw to Pujols is in time for the second out. Now batting, number 29. Next will be the designated hitter, Gio Urshela. Ready with the first pitch. Here it comes. Swing and a liner. Foul. I know that's the spot he didn't want to miss in, but he got away with it. Slider swung on and grounded toward short. What a play, and that ends the inning. Off a of one leg in the hole, falling away. That is pure magic. We're back with more on this Monday night after this. Welcome back. Heidi Watney standing by as we get set for the top of the fifth. 
Matt, I had a chance to discuss the state of the Angels' offense with their manager between innings. And he told me he feels like they're being too patient at the plate right now. He said the problem is they're allowing themselves to fall behind in the count way too often, which is forcing them to constantly be in protect mode and swing at bad pitches. A lot of their outs have come from at-bats where they've fallen behind. So the focus going forward needs to be about being the aggressor early in the at-bats. Thank you, Heidi. Number 18, Brian Goodwin. Here's the first pitch to him. A fastball here as he'll take a look at ball one, one and oh. The bouncer to the left side, and this is going to be extra bases here to kick off the fifth. Around first, he's digging for second. And he'll pull into second here with nobody out. The first base, number five. Albert Pujol. Here's Albert now. As he'll lay off a slider too low, ball one. Comes into this at bat 0 for 1 in the ball game. One 0 count, here it is. This is hit high in the air out toward left center. Gardner on the move. He makes the catch and tagging is the runner from second. And he'll make it up to third safely here with one away. Next to the angel, the catcher, Jason Castro. Jason Castro, the catcher, is in. He's 0 for 1 thus far. pitch coming here it is this is a situation where the offensive player just needs to do his job take inventory infield back get you a ground ball somewhere in the infield preferably off the corners and get your team a lead one and one to Jason Castro a one one it's a fastball that misses. Everyone in the ballpark knows what the pitcher's intentions are in this situation. Great job at the plate to lay off a tough pitch in a good spot. Now here's a swing by Castro as he gets a lot of this one out to deep right field. And they take the lead. It's gone. A two-run blast to straightaway right field. Home run number 15 for him thus far, and it gives the Angels a 3-1 to one lead. There's still some game left to be played, but that one swing could end up being a deciding factor in this one. Standing in now, Andrelton now Simmons. Yes, he'll take a look at ball one. He's 0 for 2 in the ball game so far. The 1 0 home. Misses ball two. Not even close with the 1 0. He needs to get back in the zone, but be careful. Work the quadrants. And a ball popped foul to the right side, out of play. The 2 1 home. Ball even at 2 and 2. Swung on and hit in the air again, deep down the left field line. And it's off the foul pole. Back to back home runs. So a solo shot down the line in left. Home run number 16 for him on the year. And the Angels have opened it up to 4 to 1.
boy talk about when you're hot you're hot gets two bombs yesterday and another long bomb so far today when this guy gets hot he's near impossible to stop I'm not giving this guy a pitch anywhere close to hit. in now David Fletcher as he puts it on the ground to third and there are two away now. Now that third baseman, Anthony Rendell. So bases are empty here with two gone, and that'll bring up Anthony Rendon. Here's the first pitch to him. Nope, ball. When he's pitching effectively, usually that two seam fastball is moving quite a bit, but here it's just kind of flat and straight. Could be a big part of the reason why he's getting knocked around. Here's a swing and a miss, one and one. Wow, great pitch right there, right? Changing speeds. How about that straight changeup? How about that swing? Howdy, if you're waving at me. Up high, two and one now. Well, I think he just kind of lost focus on the mound right there. It, it's clearly not going his way, and he's thinking more about that than the task at hand. And right now, he needs to think about this hitter. Swing, line, drive. That's going to be trouble. Rendon on his way to second. And he'll make it to second base now with two gone. Hey guys, that was a nice job by the batter right there. He's able to get his front foot down early, recognize the backdoor slider, stay inside it, and drive it the other way. Here's the center fielder, Mike Trout, runner in scoring position with Sugan. First pitch on its way. Breaking ball below the zone. That's ball one. Well, his last time out, guys were just flailing away at that slider. But tonight, completely different story. I think their approach coming to the plate tonight was to lay off that pitch until he shows he can throw it for a strike. Ready with the 1 0 pitch. Now a good pitch around the knees, but it doesn't quite catch the bottom of the zone. He certainly has an open base down there, but you don't want your defender standing flat footed for much longer. Three runs already home here. Two and one. Two and what one. I love right there is just the freedom in that hack. He ain't trying to do anything but hit the baseball as far as he can. The two one home. Oh, right back to him on the mound. And he'll flip it onto first, and with it, that ends the inning. So three runs on four hits, no errors, and a man left on. Home half of the fifth coming up. It's the Angels four and the Yankees one. Set now for the bottom of the fifth, and that'll give way to the third baseman, Miguel Andujar. First offering on its way. Fouled off. Hit high and deep out to straightaway left. Upton going back. Almost into the short porch, but it's off the wall. And the Yankees are in business here. It's a leadoff double. And he obviously didn't let last night's hitless out and get to his head too much because that's his second hit of the ball game. This one, a double. I'm sure he's feeling a lot better about the way he's going right now. Into the box, Luke Voigt. As he lays off a fastball too low for ball one. 0 for 1 for him here in this one. The 1 and 0 delivery. Downstairs, two balls and no strikes. 
fifth inning here in a four to one ball game. Three and oh now. And he misses there for ball four. So runners are at first and second now with nobody out. The batter number 14, second baseman. So stepping in, Tyler Wade hit it hard but lined out in his first at bat. Yeah, pretty unlucky right there, Matty. Squared up a fastball nicely, and that's all you can do. You just want to be on time for the heater, and he's prepared for this next AB. Fastball misses here to start the at bat. It's 1 and 0. Perfect time for a mound visit right here. Just give him a breather, a chance to collect himself and get back to work. Now the 1 0. Swing and a little blooper to center. And that's going to fall for a base hit. And the throw will go to second as they get the force out. Oh, man, I don't know how that happened. Looked to be a base hit to the outfield, but then all of a sudden the throw comes in and they get the force on the plate. To be honest, that just can't happen. On his way toward the mound now is skipper Joe Madden. And a change is forthcoming as that's going to do it for his starter here this evening. So he'll head to the dugout after working just four and a third, not enough to qualify for the victory, as his bullpen will have to go a long way to hang on to the lead. Ladies Matt Andrees takes the mound to try to get out of this mess. Now, there are two on with only one away. Number 35, Matt Andrees. Brett Gardner will be the first to greet him here as he'll do so with runners at the corners and only one out. As a look, now the pitch. Curve ball bounces and this one gets away. So the lead runner holds on, but the trailer will take second. Fastball misses away here. It's 2 and 0. Oh. From the belt, the pitch. 2 and 1 now. Hit hard on the ground is short. Taken in by Simmons. Throw to first is in time, but meanwhile, the runner is in to score. So a runner in scoring position with two men gone. And that will bring up Glaber Torres. He's set and the pitch. So stirring now in that angel bullpen, as it'll be both a lefty and a righty that start to get loose. The 1-0. Hit hard to third. Oh, a diving effort as it's off his glove. And a good effort here, but he's well safe at first, and there are two on and two out now. Now back, left fielder. John Carlo. Stanton. Jim Carlo Stanton now. As he takes a fastball off the plate for a ball 1-0. And we'll see what he can do here with a pair of runners on base and two gone here in the fifth. Two balls and no strikes. The count is Stanton. A time to start making some quality pitches. He finds himself in a tough spot behind the count with guys on base.
Now that's popped up. Pujols will put this one away and the side is retired. A run on two hits for the Yankees. Five innings complete. It's the Angels four and the Yankees two. Zach Britton takes over to start the sixth inning on the mound. Number 53. Zach Britton. New inning set to get underway, and that'll bring in Tommy LaStella to bat next. Tommy LaStella. From the stretch, here's the pitch. And the 0 2 in the dirt, but swung on and missed. And he makes the throw to first. Lastella is retired, and there's one away. Ready once again, Justin Upton. He went down on strikes last time up. Yeah, he's got to put that one behind him, especially with runners in scoring position. Those punch outs will stick with you a little longer. Swing and there it goes deep to left no chance at bringing this one back and gone an absolute bomb Justin Upton with the solo home run number 21 for him on the season and just like that it's now a 5 2 ball game. Well, they've got the elevate and celebrate thing working in this one, guys. That was their fourth big fly of the game. Yeah, hey, Matty V, this big ballpark in the Bronx has that short porch in right field, D-Row. But you can hit the ball out of just about any part now of this bad. ballpark. Yeah, right this field. place plays sneaky small. I know it's got big gaps, but right field is so yeah. juicy. As a right-handed hitter, you don't feel like you have to cheat. Not surprised by what we saw today. One for two in the ball game thus far. And this runs inside, and that looked like it got him pretty good. Wow, I'm not sure if he was looking past this guy to the slugger coming up or just lost focus. But now the big bat steps to the plate with a great RBI opportunity. Digging in once again, Albert Pujols. It was a flyout for him in his last trip. First delivery to him on the way. Rip down the line. Uh, this gets foul. It's 0-1. Runners on first with one down. And this one's in the dirt. Good job keeping it close as the count goes to 1-1. One and one. From the belt, the pitch. Still a ball and two strikes. And that misses two and two. I don't blame the pitcher one bit for trying to get the chase right there. He's been fouling everything off. He's still got the entire arsenal open to him. So we'll see what pitch he comes with next. Breaking ball well inside and taken for ball three. You can certainly tell at bats like this one frustrate the heck out of a pitcher but you got to find a way to stay composed 
and execute your plan. Oh, and he can only battle for so long as he's finally set down here after an eight pitch at bat. Now back. Jason Castro will stand in again as we flash you back to the middle innings here. This was a big blow a two run home run that really got his guys going. Ready. Here's the first offering. Swing and a miss on the sinker. 0 and 1. In my opinion, one of the toughest pitches in the game to square up. Just a heavy sinker with good downward action. Barely able to make contact. Down 0 and 2 now. A runner on first with two away. Swing and a miss on a ball way outside the strike zone, and the inning is over. But the Angels add one more to their lead, and it comes via the solo home run. On to the bottom of the sixth. It's now 5-2 to two Angels. Riding forward now, the Yankee cleanup hitter, Gary Sanchez. He's faced Matt Andrees previously, just a 3-for-13 batting line. He's taken him deep once. Below the knees, one ball, no strikes. That's wide, 2-0. Now here's the pitch. Three balls, no strikes. Mike Talkman waits on deck. The 3 0 is taken, strike one. 3 1. Maybe a little jumpy there as he swings through the fastball. Ready to deliver the full count pitch. Swing and a miss, and they'll come all the way back from 3-0 to punch him out. One away. Leading off the inning, your job is to get on base and now set the table for the field. inning. That was a pretty good at bat in that he pushed the count Not to 3-2 and, and made the pitcher work, but I think he'd like to have that 3-2 pitch back. Pretty sure that was ball four he went after. To the plate now, Mike Talkman. <laughs> as he'll take a look at a strike right down the middle. It's 0-1. He was retired via the ground ball last time up. Into the windup, here comes the 0 and 1. 1 1. No, that's low. Ball. And he misses ball. again, ball 3. To short. And a throw to Pujols is in time for the second out. The batter, number 29. That'll bring in Giovanni Urshela. He was a ground out victim last time up. Here comes the first pitch. High in the air down the right field line. Goodwin will reach out with one hand to make the catch on the move, and that ends the inning. One, two, three, go the Bombers. They trail 5-2. Ben Heller is on to pitch from the bullpen now to start inning number seven. Number 61, Ben Heller. All set for the start of the inning and standing in one of the best two strike hitters in baseball Andrelton Simmons.
First pitch of the at bat on its way. Weak grounder down the line at third. Barehanded at his knees. He is out. And what a vital play there, preventing the leadoff the man from getting base. aboard. Second baseman, David Fletcher. David Fletcher will stand in again, but first we'll flash you back to the very first inning of the ballgame. And here you go, a solo home run that had him off and running early on. Now the pitch. Slider gets the outside. That's a strike. And some action out in the Yankee bullpen now as a right-hander starts to loosen up. 5-2 our score as we play inning number seven. And he falls behind 0-2. Nothing in two count and the pitch. Swinging a ball hit on the ground. Throw gets him two down. The third base number six. Anthony Rendon. Trying to pick things up where he left off. Anthony Rendon. He doubled his last time through. First pitch coming. Here it is. One ball, no strike. Bases are empty here with two men out. Two balls and no strikes to Anthony Rendon. It's a lot easier to hit when you're putting yourself in good hitters counts. This guy's done a great job not swinging at pitchers pitches and when he's getting the ball in the zone he's getting the barrel to it. He's been hot lately too high and it's three and oh if you're at the plate right now you have to realize who's on deck. I guarantee you something's over the heart of the plate. You have to be aggressive in the zone right here. And there's a strike as he'll try to work his way back. It's three and one. Right side, but it's going to be a foul ball. Three two counts are usually a time to challenge the hitter, but I think he'll be careful here. Shoot for the corner, and if you miss and you walk him, so what? That's better than him putting one in the seats. Now the payoff pitch home. Hit sharply on the ground, and that's in for a base hit. He's two for four now. That's the difference in today's games. Pitchers will throw any pitch in any count, but the batter was able to deliver on a 3-2 breaking ball. Stepping in now, Mike Trout, as the first pitch to him is swung on and missed for strike one. He's working on a one-for-two game so far. And here's a foul ball just off to the right as they get ahead of him here. Nothing in two. Two out with the man at first. A little bit off the outside. It's one and two. From the belt, the pitch. Swung on and lifted in the air to left center. After it is Gardner. He makes the catch. What a play on the run to end the inning. Angels leave one, and it remains five to two. Here's Miguel Andujar now. He hit a two-bagger and later scored in his previous plate appearance. Miguel Ready to deliver. Here's the first pitch. 
Hey, this is a real pesky hitter right here. As a pitcher, you really like to keep this guy off the bases. This is a guy that kind of sets the tables for big innings. And that's in there for his strike one and one. Now the pitch. No offer on that one. Two balls and a strike. And this one's going to bounce up to the plate. An easy take there. And it's three and one now. Well, it's a pretty well-known fact that your batting average goes up as you get into more favorable hitters counts. And that's especially true when we're talking about this kind of hitter. Not a great spot to be in if you're the pitcher. Oh, and he lets him off the hook there as this isn't even close for ball four. Well, the reason power hitters generally draw more walks than other guys is exactly what we saw right there. Pitchers work around them and nibble the corners a lot more so they don't get burned. He made some good pitches, but he just couldn't get him to chase enough out of the zone. Now at the plate, Luke Voigt. It was a walk in his last trip. Here's the first pitch to him. No, that's out. All you want is the leadoff man to get on to start a big inning. Maybe get a big rally going to claw your way back into this ball game. The 1-0 home. Just got the corner that time with a fastball. Strike two. A runner at first with no outs here. Lifted down the line and left. And no one will get this one. The one two. In the dirt. The tag, and he is safe on a very close play at the bag. Well, now might be a good time to make a visit to the mound. Your pitcher walks the first batter and allows him to get into scoring position with the wild pitch. Got to settle him down and make sure everything's all right physically. Here now the 2-2. Started to go. Did he hold up in time? Yes, says the first base umpire. It's ball three now. And this is swung on and missed. And boy, they took care of a key man there. One away. Well, his struggles continue. It's been a rough go of it at the plate with him. And watching this at bat, it's clear to me that his rhythm and timing, they're just all off. Even as a pitcher like I was, you can tell these things and exploit them. And that'll bring up Tyler Wade as he will look at a first pitch fastball for ball one. 0 for 2 from him so far in this one. strike to even the count one and one one out and a runner on second base I oh, ties him up with a one fastball two. inside one and two through that fastball right by him he had no chance to get the barrel of that one had to sit back on the changeup and he did a good job to get the bat on that one Another one two and oh a big rip at the curveball but he didn't get it and he becomes the second casualty of the inning pretty textbook breaking ball for the punch out right there got it to bend a lot and by the time it got there it had fallen completely out of the zone not much you can do with that pitch so here's the veteran Brett Gardner as he looks at a fastball that's in there for strike one. The 
0-1 delivery. Into center field, and that's going to get down for a base hit. Andujar isn't stopping. Here he comes to the plate. The tag, and he's safe as it's now a two-run game. Boy, that's an aggressive send there, d because this outfielder has a very strong throwing arm. Yeah, and when you're sitting in a hitter's meeting, that's stuff they go over. So every base runner is on notice knowing that this guy's got one of the strongest arms in the league, but they challenged him, and it worked. Into the box now, Torres. As he'll take a look at a pitch too low, it's ball one. He's got a hit in three at-bats to this point. <laughs> Drives it the other way to deep right. Looking up is Goodwin. Boom goes the dynamite. Two-run blast to straightaway right field. Number 23 for him thus far as we are all tied at five. Big time at bat right there. Team trailing and he ties it up with a bomb. Interested to see how this one finishes out. Justin Anderson takes over pitching duties, looking to get that final out now here in this seventh inning. Number 38, Justin Anderson. Up next for the Yankees. And digging into the batter's box next will be Giancarlo Stanton. As he will take strike one on the fastball here. No balls and a strike. Two out, nobody on. One and one. Now we see a lefty and a right-hander start to loosen up in the bullpen. Now the one and one pitch. That's low. That's a ball. Going to need to make a little bit of an adjustment with his slider release and at least tempt the hitter that it's going to be a strike. He's fallen that's behind that's now. Ball. Three and one. When you're playing close games like this, base runners mean everything. So he can ill afford to start giving away free passes. And he lays ball off, four. ball four. Now the potential go-ahead run is on base here. So that's the second walk he's worked in this one. Yeah, and that seems to be a popular approach when this guy steps in. He can really hurt you with one swing, so I think the idea is mostly not to let this one guy beat you, Matt. Now in the box, Gary Sanchez. He's working on a one for three thus far. First offering on its way. And he holds up here, but the pitch is a cold strike anyway. That was a pretty good fastball after he walked the hitter previous. There was a little angry on that heater. Two out with the possible go-ahead run at first. Now a fastball here, not close, and it's one and one now. One and two to the Yankees catcher. It's not easy to get your barrel to a pitch that high. That can be an effective location as long as he keeps it above the letters. Working for the punch out and the offering. In the dirt and now let's see. And a very big mistake as that'll move the possible go ahead run into scoring position. Well I know what he was thinking there. The pitch before was way out of the zone and he was hacking. So the pitcher says hey if he's going to swing at that how about this. Solid strategy except this time it didn't work out and it's a wild pitch. Here's the two and two. Outside in a full count three and two. 
Now on three and two as a pitcher, you've got to go with the pitch that you feel most comfortable throwing with. And it looks like they'd rather go after the next guy as the intentional walk signal comes here with two away. Now back. Now to the plate, Mike Talkman. Two outs and two runners aboard here in the seventh inning. Ready to deliver. Here's the first pitch. Well, he's really in trouble, and it's just getting worse and worse and worse. This guy needs to find the strike zone in the worst way. Two down, runners at first and second. Yeah. And he fires in a strike this time to make it one ball and one strike. That's the exact spot to lean on as a reliever. As a hitter, you just have to tip your cap and look for the next one. Fastball close, but he didn't get it. Two and one. And this one's low here, so the count swells to three and one. Got a good spot to be in right now. A pitcher's falling behind in the count with a guy up that hits really well with runners in scoring position. Two men are on with two men out. And the good fastball there finds the zone as the count goes full now. Three and two. One of the most frustrating things for me to watch in this game is guys getting count leverage and not pull the trigger on a fastball middle in. That's why you play, to get in those situations where you can try and do damage. What do you want, the nasty slider? I think he was trying to be a little too fine there, and a walk is the result. Well, the good news is he has a force at every base. The bad news? A single probably drives in a couple of runs. For the plate now is the designated hitter, Gio Urshela. Not much in the way of productivity from him so far, but he's got a chance to come through here in a crucial spot. Yeah, it's time now that he has to put the rest of those bats behind him because none of that matters if he can clutch up when it really counts. First pitch coming. Here it is. One run. The 1-0. Got him to swing at a pitch below the knees. 1-1. One one. One and one, the pitch. And this is low, ball two. Two and one. Three and one. You fight so hard to get into these type of counts. You can't let this pitch get away from you. You have to keyhole something middle of the plate. Out of the stretch, the 3-1 home. Fouled away. Two out, bases loaded. Lifted in the air out towards left center. Trout giving chase. One run scores. And that'll get over the wall, in fact. So two runs will score, but not the third. Well, that's a huge base hit right there. Yeah. We're getting late into this one, and that gives them the lead by two. Yeah, that could be a backbreaker right there. We'll see how this one ends up, but nice job to get that knock right there to drive in a pair. Ryan Bookter trots in from the bullpen here as he inherits a tough spot with two on and two away. And that'll bring up Miguel Andujar. And it looks like this could be a critical at-bat in this one. Well, a glance at my scorebook shows they haven't been able to get him out yet. So this could be a fun at-bat to watch. Ready with the first pitch. Here it comes. 
looked like he was going to wait him out, see if he was going to come over the heart of the plate. Well, newsflash, he is, and this hitter is going to adjust his batting gloves, and he better be ready in the box. Come set the 0-1. Oh. Now the fastball is swung on and missed. When I broke into the league, not many guys were throwing that elevated fastball with that much velocity on it. The game has changed. The set and the one-two to two balls and two strikes now. Hit in the air down the right field line. But this is going to wind up a foul ball. He set the 2-2. Two -two. Now a ball hit high in the air. Deep down the line and left. Hooking just a little. Boom goes the dynamite. So a three-run blast to straightaway left. Number 14 on the season as this is now a five-run cushion. Another excellent swing right there. That's multiple home runs in the same inning. Watch yourself. You're missing over the heart of the plate. Now that is the first at the plate, Luke Voigt. As he'll look at a breaking ball that misses for ball one. No hits to this point. The 1 0. There's a fastball taken high for a ball. Now the 2 0. Well, he knows it, but this is the kind of guy you just have to go right after. He's not the biggest threat with the bat, so it's time to challenge him right here. Too high, and that cost him ball four. The batter number 14, second baseman, Tyler. At the plate, Tyler Wade. He looked to bounce back after striking out his last time up. From the stretch to first. On to first with it is Pujols, and he steps on the bag for the third out. But not before they claim the lead here as they bat around and hang an eighth spot on him. We'll look ahead to inning number eight now. The Yankees lead this one 10 to 5. Luis Sessa has been summoned from the bullpen as he'll do so to start the eighth. Number 85, Luis Sessa. Ready to begin the eighth, and that'll bring in Tommy LaStella to bat next. It doesn't look very promising so far in this one as we move into the later innings. Down by a bundle, it's time to get some base runners and hopefully a long ball to get them back into this one. First pitch of the at bat. Probably a design take right there. They need base runners, so they're going to make them try to bring the ball in the strike zone. The wind up and the 0 1. Swing and a miss. That one tied him up. Classic case of the front shoulder flying open on that off speed. Needs to stay compact and stay in the big part of the field. And on 0 2, he misses with a fastball. Well below the knees, laid off on the change up there.
swung on and missed. He didn't even come close to contact on a ball way out of the zone. One out. I really liked it. He gave up nibbling out of the now zone that, trying to get him to chase. Me. That wasn't working, Nothing. so he just reached back and fired a good old country hardball fastball right by him. No better feeling in the world when you're a pitcher than throwing a fastball right by a guy. Justin Upton the next to hit. As he'll take a look at a slider here that misses for ball one. Good fastball as he gets the swing and a miss. Hit down the third baseline. But this will get foul. It's a ball and two strikes. The one two. Two and two is the count. And he fouls this one off. The 2-2 two -two one more time. Swing, high drive, left field and deep. Stanton looking up. And this ball is gone. No chance to make a play on that one. A solo shot here to left. His second home run of the game as they've cut this deficit down to four. At the plate now, Brian Goodwin. As he'll take one up in the zone, but indeed in the strike zone for the first strike. A hit in two at-bats for him at this point in the ballgame. Into the windup, here comes the 0-1. A swinging strike, and now it's 0-2. Oh, and you can tell he wanted to hold off, but he swings through the inside pitch anyway, and he becomes out number two. Every pitcher gives up home runs, some more than others, but the best ones forget about them as soon as the next guy digs into the batter's box. He showed me a lot right there by going after the next hitter and striking him out on only three pitches. Into the box, Albert Pujols. As he'll look at a fastball too high for ball one. He's hitless in three at-bats to this point. A bouncer up the middle. Torres has it. Throw in the dirt, but a good scoop at first saves an error as the side is retired. But the Angels do get one back via the solo home run will go to the bottom of the eighth. It's the Yankees 10 and the Angels 6. So the lineup flips over and digging in. Brett Gardner. Two hits in three at-bats for him in this one. Comes set. Here's the nothing and nothing pitch. Rolled slowly down the third baseline. and one delivery. That's inside ball. Ball. Rounded down the third baseline, but a foul ball as it holds it two and two.
Now here it comes. And it's fouled away. Pay three foul balls in a row right here, searching for that put away stuff. There's a swing and a drive hit well out to right field. Boom goes the dynamite. Solo shot here to straightaway right field. Number 17 for him on the season, as this is now a five run cushion. appearance of the year so far. Number 57. Uncle Wilbur. Next to the plate now. Torres. That's your stop. As the first pitch misses to him, it's ball one. As we near the end of this one, I think it's safe to say that the story of the game has undoubtedly been the long ball. Guys, what do you think about what we've witnessed? Well, as a former offensive player, I absolutely love it. Kudos to both lineups for doing absolute damage today. One of the most That's fun the watches of the year. You know, D-Row, what this shows me is this new age way of guys going up there, and they're swinging hard. You need to make good pitches, quality pitches, and if you don't have command of the fastball, you're in for a long day, and we saw that here this afternoon, a ball flying out at near yeah. record pace. Two and one the count. Now the pitch. Swing and a miss, two and two now. Borderline pitch right there. But as a low ball hitter, you can live with that as long as the umpire doesn't count give him north as well. Three and two, full count. Now the payoff pitch home. Swung on and hit in the air again. Deep down the left field line. Boom goes the dynamite. So a solo shot down the line in left, his second of the game, as it's now a six-run ball game. Stanton. And he'll take a look at ball one. 0 for 2 for him to this point. The 1 0 home. 2 0. Swing and a miss, two and one. Get it ready, big boy. This guy's throwing three digits right here. The best way I can help the fans is 90 to 92, you can usually see seams. 92 to 95, it starts to really quicken up on you. Over three digits, you're seeing a white blur. No, that's it. And there's a fastball well off the plate inside. Pretty good pitch right there, fastball in off the plate. One of the things you want to do as a pitcher, try to stand those hitters up. Three and two now. No outs, nobody on. There's one at 97, and all he can do is foul that one away. Payoff pitch one more time. He is swung on and missed strike three. That strikeout was a real good example of a pitcher continuing to make a guy chase out of the zone. When you recognize a hitter is in protect mode, you don't have to come inside the strike zone. 
you could just expand further and further until he literally can't touch it. So now to the plate, Gary Sanchez. As he'll look at a fastball in there on the outer half, it's 0-1. He's got a hit in three at-bats to this point. Here's the 0-1 pitch. Ball one. That one looked like it could easily have gone the other way. There's a big difference between 0-2 and 1-1, and but now this next pitch probably becomes the biggest of the at bat. Looked like the fastball got away from him there. It's ball two. Still only one out in the inning. Fouled off. And he struck out again. That's the third time he's gone down on strikes in this one. That was aggressive pitching in that at bat, and I like seeing that. He showed all hard stuff until the fifth and final pitch for the strikeout. When you work off your hard stuff, it really opens up your secondary pitches to be more deceptive. Standing in now, Mike Talkman. As with two away, he'll swing and miss at the first pitch. It's 0-1. He's 0 for 2 in the ball game so far. I had him reaching at thin air that time, and he's very quickly down 0 and 2. Usually you see chases outside the zone on off-speed stuff like sliders, breaking balls, and change-ups. But the threw it right past him, a swing and a miss at the gas, and that ends the inning. So they get a couple of runs on two hits, no errors, and no one left aboard. We've played eight full. The Yankees lead it 12 to 6. Settling in now, Jason Castro. He'll try and lead things off here in inning number nine. He's ready. Here's the first offering. Off we go in the ninth as the first pitch misses for ball one. That one's going to find the seats. Strike one. Ball and two strikes to the Angels catcher. Here's the one and two delivery. Now a fastball awfully close, but he doesn't get the call. It's two and two now. Pitch on the way. Now here's a swing by Castro as he gets a lot of this one out to deep right field. Gone to lead off the inning. Solo home run for Jason Castro. His second home run of the game as they try to claw back. It's a five run deficit. Tommy Kingley, the six foot one inch right hander, will be the one to get the call from the bullpen here. Tommy. The battle, number two. Into the box now, Andrelton Simmons. He grounds it sharply to third. On the first, so a good bounce back pitch there as he gets the ground ball for the first out. The batter number 22, second base. David Fletcher. Stepping up now, David Fletcher. One run in and one gone so far this inning. Yeah. 
ready to deliver. Here's the first pitch. It's a high fly ball headed for the left field corner. If it stays fair, it's gone. Mm, definitely had the distance, but it winds up a foul ball. The 0 1. And a change up here, but that's taken low in the dirt for a ball. Right hander starts to loosen out in the bullpen now. And he looks at one in there, one and two. Now a fastball, but that's easy to lay off, and it's back to even at two and two. Just staying alive, putting together a really good at bat here. Swing and a miss on the changeup, and there are two gone. The third team. Stepping up to the plate, Anthony Rendon. And he needs to make something happen. They're down to their final out here in the ninth. From the stretch. Took a little off, and it's in for a called strike one. Hey, this guy's got an 89 mile an hour changeup. There was a time when 89 was a pretty good fastball. A ball hit hard to the left side. That gets down, and he's got himself a base hit. Dan, you have to love it when your defense picks you up right there, keeping him at first base. Well, D roll that looked like it had extra bases written all over it. Great job by the left fielder to get to that ball and get the ball back in, keeping that to a single. In now, Mike Trout as he takes a fastball off the plate for a ball one and all. A runner on first with two away. And he misses low with it, 2-0. and oh. Now this is the kind of count this guy feeds on at the plate. You can bet he's geared to hit the fastball right here. The 2-0 -oh on the way. In the dirt here. And he'll keep that runner where he is, but meanwhile it's 3-0 and oh now. From the stretch. And a good comeback there. It's three and one. Into the corner and slicing foul. Three, two, two out, runner on first. Lots of possible outcomes on this pitch. Angels down to their last strike. And he struck him out, and that'll do it for the Angels here this evening. If you want to know what this game was decided, that's easy. Look no further than the seventh inning. That big rally and the crooked number on the scoreboard proved to be all the difference. 12 to 7, the final score in this ball game. The New York Yankees jumped ahead in the seventh inning and never gave the lead back. Ben Heller wins his fourth game out of the bullpen this year. So that's a wrap here tonight. For Mark DeRosa, Dan Plezak, and Heidi Watney, this is Matt Vaskersian. You've been watching MLB The Show. For more, find us on Twitter, at MLB The Show.